Namaskar, welcome to Sai Economics Point. In today's video, we will discuss another important property of capitalist production function that is how marginal productivity of labor and capital depends on factor ratio. Okay. Dear students, if you are new to my channel, then please visit my channel and uh, watch all the videos. Okay. I think it is very helpful for you. Property number three, okay. The marginal productivity of labor and capital again depend on factor ratio. Okay, so as you know, marginal productivity of capital equal to delta Q by delta K. Okay, so this equal to your what uh, delta by delta K of Q that is A into L to the power alpha into K to the power one minus alpha. Okay, so this becomes your a into L to the power alpha. Okay, so we are calculating the partial derivative of uh, uh, Q with respect to K. So this power is multiplied here and uh, minus 1 is subtracted from the power. Okay, because we are applying function rule that is <coughs> that is uh, X to the power N equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 this is your function rule or power rule so we are applying this rule here okay so what we will get see by taking 1 minus alpha here okay we will get uh, 1 minus alpha into a okay and uh, l to the power alpha divided by k power alpha okay um, this minus becomes uh, plus okay by taking into denominator right so so finally we'll get uh, 1 minus alpha into a okay and i uh, into l by k whole power alpha okay similarly marginal productivity of labor equal to delta q by delta l okay so this is nothing but partial derivative of a q with respect to l okay so this becomes here this is a and k are constants here okay so uh, by applying the function rule we will get a into alpha into l to the power alpha minus 1 into k to the power 1 minus alpha okay by okay if i'll factor out this uh, minus 1 uh, this becomes alpha into a into l to the power minus 1 minus alpha because this becomes your minus 1 and minus minus becomes plus okay as we have earlier discussed into k to the power 1 minus alpha okay so this becomes your alpha into a into k by l okay whole power 1 minus alpha right okay so conclusion is both marginal productivity of capital and marginal productivity of labor are functions of a factor ratio that is labor by capital and capital of labor respectively right 